Hey, Nat, let's talk about uh, just this year with the great things that happened last season. Just how the expectations in the offseason are managed and how you bust it down so you guys have another big year. How's that gone? Uh, it's gone really good. Uh, it all starts with our strength coach, uh, Coach Adam Hall. Uh, you know, he, he, he stepped in last year and did a, a phenomenal job. And uh, he, he's honestly um, a huge part of why we won last year. So uh, for, for us to have him again this year, it, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, the stuff the guy does is amazing. And so uh, with, with that and, and having him there, um, it, it's huge for us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our conditioning is bar probably the best. I feel, the way I feel now is probably the best I've ever felt since I've been at San Diego State. And um, kudos to him. I mean, he comes out every day and works hard. Mm -hmm. so. Bryce, would you say that's the key to – Making this happen even better this season is yeah. committing to hard work. Yeah, definitely. It all starts in the off season. You have to have a good off season program. Um, if you don't, then you're not preparing yourself for the regular season. Um, you'll just you'll just fall short. You won't be in, you won't be in good enough shape. So mm -hmm. you won't last the season. So um, yeah, Adam Hall, uh, he's definitely done a great job. How does Coach Long factor into all this? Comment on. He's an old school guy. He can be. I don't know how to describe him. Gruff. <laughs> He's just direct, and I imagine as a head coach, he's the same way. Yeah, uh, if you if you ever seen the show Hell's Kitchen, uh, he's kind of like that guy, except he's not British. <laughs> so uh, he's he's very uh, in your face type uh, type guy, and, and uh, I think it's great. I mean, he he's really just preparing you for the real world. I mean, life isn't easy, and he's just you know he's basically setting us up for success. How does he treat the offensive linemen? Any better? Uh, he probably loves you guys, doesn't he? <laughs> he treats everybody pretty much the same. Um, as a whole team, uh, he doesn't put up with any crap. So straightforward guy. He's going to let you know how it is. Um, and he's just, he's just raising you to become a man. So it, it's, it's really good in, in a maturing process. So uh, it's great to have him. Bryce, three straight years for the Aztecs in bowl games. First yes. time that's happened. Probably the most success in a continued period of time since – Don Coriel was the coach back in the late 60s. Mm -hmm. Why is San Diego State having a renaissance and, and really becoming a, a program that seems to be consistent? Uh, it's a change of mentality. Um, and it originally came in with Coach Hoke, and uh, Coach Long has kept it going. Um, and it, it, it's the, the, the mentality that Coach uh, Long has. Um, he just doesn't put up with any crap, and he's instilling that in us. Um, and that's kind of the, the motivation for us, and that's the whole – uh, force that's uh, that's uh, bringing this whole uh, renaissance type deal. Nat, when well, you've been in Southern California, yeah. do people think differently of San Diego State than they did five years ago? Of course. I mean, you, you can't forget you got UCLA and, and, and USC, you know, in the backyard. And, uh, you know, for us to start, you know, to kind of get those recruits and stuff like that, it, I think it's huge for our program. Uh, you know, the better the recruits, the better the program is going to be. And uh, I think I think it's been great. Now, one thing that may have helped bring that along is the win in Bronco Stadium last year. Uh, describe the, the experiences, Bryce. Tell me how that battle was won up front, how controlling the line of scrimmage and with the great running attack, yep. Uh, yep. how that went. That was crucial. Uh, that was The first thought was a fun game. That was exciting. Um, and it, it, it was definitely a, a fought tough in the trenches. Um, last year, the, the Boise's defensive line was great. And um, we just had to hang in there tough. And... Um, it really came down to that last drive. Uh, we had to run out the clock, and um, that's, ended, that's what ended up happening. So, Was there a point in the game where you knew that you'd be able to run the football? I mean, because you guys felt like you could control those other seven or eight guys? Yeah. Um, well, with our mindset, we, we always can run the football. Um, that's just kind of what we do, so we're so used to it. Mm -hmm. And how about defensively and defending Boise State's offense? Yeah. Was not as explosive last year, yeah. top to bottom. I don't know what it looked like to you on the field. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the whole game was kind of like a heavyweight title fight. It was blow after blow. Um, yeah. Guys were, you know, dishing out stuff. Uh, and, and like you said, the offense wasn't as explosive. Um, you know, I played him when they had Kellen Moore, and, and uh, I mean, he picked us apart. I mean, he was a great quarterback. And uh, I think a guy like Southwick, uh, I, think he's, uh, I think he has all the intangibles of being a great quarterback. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to actually see him come out there, you know, this year and play. How did you guys see your quarterback, Adam Dingwell, improve last year? He came in 
middle of the Nevada game because yeah. of an injury and hadn't played a whole lot. It seemed like he was able to spark you guys yeah. last year. I mean, his confidence is I, I haven't really seen anything like it. Uh, like, 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 like Bryce says, you know, he gets in the huddle and he, and he takes control. And, and he does that, you know, even off the field. You know, he's just that kind of guy, uh, you know, hard nose, you know, in-your-face type guy. And I think that's what our offense needs, you know. It's, yeah, it's great having him in the huddle. He brings the confidence. Um, he lets you know what's going to happen, and he takes control of the huddle. And uh, he lets you know that um, we're going to either go down there, score a touchdown, and, 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 and everyone really, really believes in him. So that's kind of a, a key factor there. What about a goal for this year? For you guys, since you've had so much success, do you start raising the goals and say we want to go to the next level? What what's the team goals in what order? What is that? Well, first it's it's win the conference championship, uh, win twenty as as what we say, win twenty. Um, and then and then the next thing, you know, Coach Long has been preaching it, uh, a BCS, um, you know, winning out, you know, not losing a game. I think you have to shoot for perfection, you know, at this point. Uh, since we've had so much success, you know, guys get kind of complacent and, and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, that was last year's team. This is this year's team. This year's team hasn't won a conference championship. So we can't look at last year's team and, and, and kind of take that in for this year. So. Easier or harder to repeat? Um, I think it might be a little bit harder. Um, everyone takes this a little bit more seriously now. So uh, they're going to be gunning for our, for our number. Um, so it'll, it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be challenging. UCLA's former head coach Bob Toledo, now your offensive mm-hmm. coordinator. What have you noticed, Bryce, about him? What is he bringing to the offense? A lot of knowledge. He's been around football for a long time, so he he knows his X's and O's, and it's great having him there. Is there going to be something different? I mean, not, maybe you want to give away the store, but is there going to be anything different schematically? Are you going to use tight ends more or less? Are you going to use two running backs, one running back? Or? It'll, it'll, it'll be mostly the same thing as last year. Mm-hmm. Um, there'll be a little twist here and there. Uh, he has his own style he likes to put in. Um, but for the most part, it, it'll be pretty much the same. Defensively, Nat, for San Diego State, Rocky Long's defense, right. one of the weirder defenses I've seen. Right. What position do you technically play? Oh, man. Uh because I was going to put you on my chart as a linebacker <laughs> yeah. last year, and then yeah. I was going to put you as it's, a safety, and I really didn't know where to put you. It's uh, it's undoubtedly probably the, the hardest and the weirdest position in college football. I mean, you, you play corner, you can play safety, you can play linebacker. Even sometimes, even as you rush off the edge as a, as a defensive, you know, as a defensive end. So it's uh, you know, lots lots of film goes into playing that position. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not easy. And I wish it was. I wish I could say, you know, it's, it's the easiest position I, I've ever had, but it's not. And uh, no, are you the warrior? You the Aztec? The Aztec. The it's, Aztec. it's the old Lobo that yeah. Brian Urlacher played. Exactly. And, and Urlacher yeah. didn't look too much bigger than him. <laughs> not too much. I mean, not at that time. Yeah, not I mean, at that time. Little, you know, little combine training got him, you know, where he needs to be. But uh, <laughs> you know, what, what's the hardest thing about attacking your defense? You think the hardest thing for somebody that, especially a first timer, yeah. Ohio State. Really good team, but this will be the first time they're going to see that. Yeah. What, what what do teams that are first timers against that yeah. defense have the most trouble with? Uh, picking up the blitz, uh, Coach Long. He sends. Uh, I think he has so many varieties and different schemes of, of blitzing X's and O's and all types of stuff. And, and sometimes even, even we get sort of confused. Uh, and I, I can only imagine what the offense is, is dealing with on the other side. I mean, it must be it must be hell. So it's a picnic when you guys get to play somebody else, Bryce. Uh, yeah, it definitely helps out. I've been playing against our defense for three years now, and it still confuses me. They're all over the place. So what's Nat's best part of his game? Ooh, uh, I like the all way, the things he says like, he plays. I like the way Nat comes downhill. He, he sticks his face in the hole. I like, I like that about you, Nat. Appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs>